Hi, how you doing? Max McLeod, the huge loser. And uh, I just want to tell you, I have a lot of experience of being a loser and, and loser dumb as a as a occupation. I've been a loser since I've been uh, since I was born. And I think all losers, true losers, are born losers. Now ask yourself, you know, are you a born loser when you were first? your first memories of school were you sort of an outcast were other losers like you looked like that's the hugest loser in in the class right now and did he end up becoming your friend like your best buddy after that if yes then you are a born natural loser you're just naturally on the frequency of other huge losers and the frequencies come together that's the only thing about that secret bullshit that i really believe that you end up attracting the type of mindset that you are and if you're attracting losers, if you're like, I'm the winner of my group, then you're a loser, okay? You're a fucking loser, just like the rest of your group. And that's okay. This is what this blog is about. This blog is about taking people who really have zero hope of doing anything great and bringing their lofty goals down to an to a area of where they could actually achieve. See, you know, here I am. I dreamed of being in showbiz, dreamed of having my own talk show. It didn't exactly, this is my mother's garage I'm in in front of a sheet. And not exactly my dream, but if I was to keep a, you know, if I kept telling myself, you're nothing unless you're on real TV, I never would be happy to be. Now I'm happy. I said, yeah, I just took my dream and I smushed it down to the garage in front of a sheet and I'm achieving my dream. And I really am and it's great. Here I am, I'm talking to people. God knows I could be talking to millions of people, most likely nine, but possibly millions. Possibly billions, right? I, you know, some Chinaman could be watching me over there somewhere. Whatever. It's, it, it's just the opportunities are there for anybody, loser or winner. And I'm tired of seeing perfectly good losers with perfectly good ideas sitting on the sideline there because they feel like they'll never... A lot of people don't do shit because they feel like, I'll never make it to the top. You're right. You will never make it to the top. You, you are fucking not good enough. But you could make it to maybe there. You know, there is better than just fucking nothing, right? Don't be happy with nothing. I want to take you from here to here, all right? That's what my goal is. Fuck here. You're never getting here. None of us are getting here. But you can definitely get here, okay? So subscribe to my blog. I give advice. I haven't written the shit yet, but I'll, if you subscribe, I'll be like, oh, oh fuck, I better do something. So do sub you know, subscribe. Fucking, I want to see your name in there, or so and so and so and so. And and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that the the regular loser you are now can be something mediocre. In fact. The ultimate losers actually can go on to do great things. L. Ron Hubbard, huge fucking weirdo loser. Hitler was a huge fucking weird faggy sort of something wrong with his balls and he was all fucked up. And he was one of those art guys. There's no bigger fucking loser thing than to be like a failed painter. And then he turned out to be, you know, taking over a whole fucking country and, 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 and taking revenge on the people he hated. You know, he lived out his loser murder fantasies. And I'm not saying that you could be the next Hitler, you know, I'm not saying that. But I'm not saying you can't either, alright? So anyway, subscribe.